Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Well, this this is not going to be a, a farming video. Um, as many of you know, I've been uh, here in Mindanao and have, and have uh, uh, spent a few days at Philip's house, uh, hanging out. I enjoyed it all. Philip, was, uh, Philip and his roommate were very gracious uh, in hosting us there. And... Uh, of course, uh, the dimwit has to chime in on everything, and so uh, him and his uh, dimwit buddies uh, had to take a dig at Philip, uh, which uh, neither of us really appreciate. So, um, and even you know, I, I can clearly tell. Um, by the comments that there are a great many people out there who are uh, lacking facts uh, of uh, Philip's situation. And who knows if I have all the facts myself, but I was, um, it's not like I was involved, but I was around and uh, have known Philip for many, many years and uh, actually knew both parties involved. So anyway, I, uh, because there uh, is some, I don't know, weird, weirdness, spitefulness, ignorance uh, going around, I'd just like to clear things up. So, um, well, let's start at the beginning. So Philip Rizzuto uh, had a YouTube channel uh, called the Rizzuto Family Vlog, and it did very well. And um, he became, uh, he had a popular YouTube channel, so he was known by many. Um, after a while, the, um, the Aherns, who had a very, very popular vlog, and it's still somewhat uh, popular, um, I guess they had known each other previously, and anyway, they had a falling out. And the Hearns took it on themselves to make some uh, false accusations um, about Philip um, in a relationship with an underage girl, uh, blah, blah, blah. Philip didn't take tank kindly to this. Um, well, I would assume, number one, because it wasn't true. And uh, number two, it was, uh, it was done with slanderous intent. So, um, Philip sued their asses. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of exactly what happened because it's nobody's business. And uh, I don't know if there was a, um, a non-disclosure agreement at the end of it or not. Regardless, I didn't sign the, I didn't sign the non-disclosure agreement, so I could say anything that I want. But... Um, out of respect uh, for Philip, uh, because he hasn't given uh, broad details, uh, I'm not going to either. Suffice it to say that um, Philip sued uh, the Ahearns uh, for uh, libel, slander, defamation, go down the list. And he won that case. Cases take a while in the Philippines, but... Uh, they do happen. They do move forward. And Philip won. Now, I'm not going to disclose how much, what the monetary settlement was, because, again, that's nobody's business. I can say that uh, the amounts being floated around are not correct. And the Ahearns were um, uh, part of the settlement, I guess you could say, was that they make an apology video, which they did. Uh, I think it's since been taken down, and I watched that video where it really wasn't much of an apology video, but uh, I think since it was, it, it had passed through the courts already, there wasn't any, what it, it wasn't any, really any way to say, well, you know, that wasn't much of an apology video, uh, but they did it, and uh, honestly, I don't know if the video is still up or not, but uh, Philip got some money. And he got an apology video, and uh, the Ahearns promised to be nice moving forward. So, 
Um, you most generally don't uh, win court cases if uh, your hands are dirty. Most certainly if you were uh, guilty of what you were being accused of. So uh, Philip winning that case should be, you know, as I like to say, the, the proof is in the pudding. So the accusations of him being in, in a relationship with an underage Filipina were totally false and proven so in court. Um, whatever other spin you want, whatever rumors you've heard, whatever spin you want to put on it, those are the facts. Uh, he won the case and the Ahearns apologized. Move on. But uh, the troll army just can't, you know, well they're trolls. So they're, number one, they're not too bright. And number two, they just like to troll. Uh, that's their life. Uh, it's the uh, only life they've got is to be stupid and prove it to everyone on YouTube. So I just wanted to make it totally clear that I consider Philip Rizzuto a friend of mine and uh, don't like it when people uh, are talking crap about him, uh, especially unfounded crap. And uh, just want to make that perfectly clear. And there are some uh, comments that I've seen from certain people which shall go unnamed. Uh, those people should be careful. And I'll just leave it at that. Um, people in the Philippines. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. They should, you know, should watch what they say. Um, Philip is uh, probably not as uh, forgiving as I am of people talking smack about him. Um, we'll, just, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, I just wanted to make this video and uh, just just so it was clear uh, that you know if you have some sort of little personality thing that you don't like about Philip, well you know that that you know nobody likes everyone. Um, most people have a somewhat close circle of friends and they just don't like other people. Well, yeah, that's fine. If there's some personality quirks about Philip that you don't like, uh, well, that, that that's fine. Uh, but don't propagate uh, outright falsehoods about someone just because you, you know, I don't like that guy. Uh, but don't perpetuate a lie and, uh, and therefore add fuel to it. Um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Philip's a good guy. He's never been anything other uh, to me other than uh, uh, a friend. And so uh, I'm sure that many of you have questions about what's going on in his personal life. Well, he doesn't have a YouTube channel anymore. He doesn't have a platform. So um, maybe he uh, doesn't want you to know. Maybe he's not, uh, uh, maybe he just doesn't want to share his life on YouTube anymore. It's not for everyone. Um, it, it is what it is. So I just wanted to make that perfectly clear. Uh, to the smack talkers out there uh, that and those who, who have uh, seem to have gotten some misinformation because it's rampant on YouTube I, I can tell you from personal experience uh, people talk crap about you long enough well then that you know then it becomes fact when it indeed is not so I just wanted to uh, make this video and come out and tell you flat out from first-hand experience not not anything I've seen on a YouTube video somewhere uh, from first-hand experience of my experience and my knowledge of the situation with Philip and uh, I think I've made that pretty clear so I'm gonna end this one up I had tried to do a live stream uh, I don't even know if it made it to air at all uh, but it failed because the internet here isn't fast enough I didn't want to have to go through having to save this uh, video and then edit it and upload it and all that I just wanted to make a, a, a live stream about the same length as this video and, and just be done with it but I can't because the, the signal here is just not fast enough uh, so uh, anyone who has uh, any further questions you're not going to get much information from me uh, 
uh, and I don't know how you would uh, get a hold of Philip because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put his information out there. Uh, and anyone who means anything to him already has his information. So uh, just wanted to put it out there. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.